Good afternoon, I'm James Days 2, or otherwise known as Days J2, <laughs> and uh, welcome to my vlog, which unfortunately, this is a more serious one, and it pertains to the recent election that we've had, um, which I know for most people it was a, a very upsetting time and uh, one that was unexpected for most uh, some people and stunning and certainly uh, shocking but um yeah and you know uh, for a lot of people not good news <laughs> um, and certainly to me and uh, my fiance as well um, but before I move on um, and get to the specifics uh, or the reason why I put this on or you know making a video of this is that I wasn't I wasn't particularly shocked that Trump won the election I mean that's kind of almost the trade-off um, of when uh, a Democrat uh, is president for eight years that usually a Republican follows um, and uh, the thing uh, of the matter is, is that yeah, the popular vote it was in Hillary's favor, um, and uh, but unfortunately, you know, the, what matters is the electoral college, um, and again, I'm not horribly surprised that Trump won it, as you know, saddened as I am to that that ha that happened. After something like that happens, uh, the first of all question on um, everybody is, well, it's not really the question, it's more of the reaction uh, and how to go about every day. Um, that changed, obviously. And uh, it, um, of course, you can be shocked, you can be stunned, you can, you can be sad. It's perfectly understandable. And... And then, you know, people voicing their opinions. Of course you have that right. And it's the First Amendment, of course. Um, and, you know, people going out protesting. Again, it's your right. And you have every right to protest. It's mostly encouraged, too. Um, but the fact of protesting um, is to not get it yet our just out of hand, rioting, um, violence, um, and such like that, and, and it's not just, you know, that, uh, the Hillary side, it's, hope that it's happening on the Trump side, too, it's, it, it's not one way, it's both ways, both sides are fighting, uh, fighting against each other, and, uh, it's not good. It's definitely not good, um, and it's quite horrible that um, even at <laughs> at certain ages we still behave in a manner that is not adult, like it is not um, that it's not uh, uh, mature, um, and you know as much as you're, you're disappointed. As, as much as people are disappointed in Trump winning, you can't go out there and <laughs> cause violence and, and cause violent acts because that kind of just put, uh, makes us look bad. It, it makes the people of America look bad. When we, we, are, we are so much better than that, and we are, uh, every person is better than that. <laughs> And it's, and we have to learn better from that. Um, we have to learn better from what we're experiencing now, what is going on now. And I know a lot of people are worried, and I am certainly too. And don't get me wrong, because I am worried um, what a Trump president elect will bring. Uh, in the coming future when he starts his presidency, but 
you cannot, um, you can't give up. You can't give up hope. You can't give up voicing your opinion. And voicing your opinion, letting people know, you know, your standpoints, your, well, viewpoints, the way you live your life, um, is what I mean. Not, <laughs> not the negative stuff that's been going on recently. And there's even right now day two after knowing uh, knowingly the fact of him winning the election there's so much violence going on out there and it's horrible and we can't have that it's it, like I said it makes us look bad and I know I know one person saying it is not going to make a difference um, but it could and matter of fact it is, is that we all voice an opinion all of our opinions matter so and then before moving on with that I would love to say you know for you know to the Trump supporters congratulations on your um, winning your vote uh, when it's your president elect hopefully he does really well in the, in the presidential oval office hope maybe he'll surprise uh, uh, surprise both parties and does well for the Hillary supporters you know you uh, did your very best and we all well not all but we did hope that she would win and a mass, a mass majority thought she would um, but didn't occur don't lose hope, uh, and certainly live, um, don't lose hope, and be support, and uh, give support to your families, uh, your communities, um, give support to the people in need, um, that are traumatized or, uh, feeling doubt, because they definitely need it, everybody needs it. Um, that feeling down uh, from this presidential election. And then um, to the people that voted third parties for Jill Steen and uh, Gary Johnson, you know, thank you guys for trying uh, trying someone different um, for third party because every vote counts, and it does, and I firmly believe that. And uh, even for the people that didn't vote, and whether what reason or not, it still sort of counts. <laughs> they had the belief, um, whether they just couldn't do it or thought no one was worthy, that still counts in ways. And I just want to say, you know, again to the third party, you know, thank you for trying something different, someone different. Because um, they certainly had different things to offer and some good ones too. Um, they were none of, none of the nominees were perfect, but they certainly had good things to, uh, to offer. So, thank you for trying, and it's appreciated. It was it was a good run for uh, for them. Now, again, with all with all the violence going on in the world right now, I just you know feel dis disappointed that this stuff is going on. This is happening uh, with adults and with children in schools and uh, around the world, uh, around the U.S., and it's frightening and sickening at the same time, disappointing. And you can't help but feel, hope, uh, feel hopeless about it and, and sad. And it, it's just, um, again, where we... Or just you feel like we should know better, and we we are better than than this, and we have to teach our children better, uh, the better, better, and um, and hopefully change their uh, visions of the future, visions of people of uh, multiple races and genders and. Uh, you know, sexual orientations and everything else um, and view them differently and view them more 
positively like they should. And um, instead of envisioning fear um, and making that and taking control um, of their visions of everybody else and making those uh, making decisions off of that, because I think that's important. But with Trump being the president elect, all we can do is hope that all we can do is hope that he doesn't go in or. Uh, doesn't act in the way that he's been doing in this president, uh, this whole uh, presidential debate and uh, campaign, and hopefully he acts in a way a president should, and being more uh, not confident, um, but more compassionate, uh, and of course confident, of course, but I think he has plenty of that. Um, but more compassionate uh, of the, for the people of the U.S. Uh, and that means all, and you know, everybody uh, that's currently here. And um, so, you know, I wish to, I wish to remain hope um, as po or positive as I can, and you should too. And I don't, and it's not like a denial or um, positive or a delusional, a delusional positive. It's something because we need to have positivity right now of all the negativity that's going on right now. Um, but for the people that are in protesting right now, for the people that are in. Uh, deep despair and demi uh, feeling demise, don't. Um, and keep continuing to voice your opinions. Keep keep feeling like you matter, because you should. You should feel like you matter, and you do. And always, always be free to be you. And that's important. And... Uh, Oh, and feel compassionate about others too, and and making sure that they are okay as well as you are, and because the world needs that too. But um, I certainly had more to say about this subject, and um, unfortunately I have to keep going. So, um, but thank you guys for watching and listening, and please remain. Uh, Remain positive and feel loved, and because that's all that I ever want for people is to feel loved and be loved by um, by your family members, by friends, uh, some strangers, not the creepy ones. Um, but um, but try to remain. Uh, get back to. Uh, with with the after since it's a few day a couple days after the election, try to go back to your normal lives while also vo acting and voicing your opinions, uh, and try to act in a positive way. So, but anyway, I hope you guys. Um, I wish you all the best. Uh, wish you all the love in the world. And. I hope you guys have a wonderful night and a wonderful day if you're watching this during the day. So, um, but that'll be uh, all for me tonight. And uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.